What is black girl magic? It's far beyond supernatural powers. This is a strength that resides deep within my sisters. Black girl magic is when the world rejects her every day and yet she still finds a way to love herself, to accept herself as she is to look at her beautifully constructed features, her large hips, her long legs, her oval curves and her large breasts, her thin frame, her tall height, loving them all as each day goes by. Confidently, she graces the floor with her majesty attracting the eyes of the world as her beautiful melanin glows off the reflection of the sun like gold it glitters just like the rays at the crackling of dawn her hair so long and short curly and flat black and colorful stands out to a world that does not understand its features and properties, finding it unappealing. When you look into her hazel, black, brown eyes, you can see something of the extraordinary within her soul that may seem intimidating to those who do not understand the power of her spirituality. But what women like my mother, Betty Jane, and my aunt Golden taught me is that there will be times when you seemingly face insurmountable obstacles, but that's when you dig deep into your soul for the courage and the fortitude to keep going and to never, to never forget that despite life's detours, you are destined for greatness. Royalty resides in her blood. A queen long lost in history, yet she walks among us, so uncomfortably blending. Thus she stands out. Love so pure lives in her heart. Even after all the heartbreaks, the disappointments, and the traumas the world has given her, she somehow finds a way to still love unconditionally, putting no limits to what she will do for those she loves. Chisholm said it best when she said, service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. <laughs> Women, like my mama, who is here with me tonight, wore her uniform proudly as a high school janitor. And my grandmother, who picked cotton in Aberdeen, Mississippi, and also wore her uniform proudly as the local county jail cook, were big believers of this message and encouraged me to always be of service to your community. You are all my community. This is my community. And whenever I take on projects, I'm constantly thinking, how can I be of service? What can I do? This flower is so complicated to understand how it grows. Has been abandoned and forgotten. Yet she still grows tall. Unmissable, there she stands with her petals fully grown from the waters of her tears. There she blooms in the pain that consumed her to become a tulip in a garden of weeds. Unprotected, unloved, yet copied, admired. There she sits among those who fear her, hate her, yet admire her. How does she do it, they ask. 
without that magic. No one knows how it's done or how it works, but all we know is that it does indeed exist. Through her, you can see the living proof of magic. Through her, you can feel the resonance of its power. Through her, the magic lives on and on as generations pass, as her ancestors have passed on to her and as she will pass on to her. Things I tell myself about my skin. I like it this way. Remember that time I questioned why God molded me out of tar and sky? Me neither. Remember that time I met that girl who thought bleach would lighten all the burdens off her back? Me too. We too often educated by fools. A fool will say, your skin does not make you a god. Well, my belief in it certainly does. My black is a boastful believer. My blackness is a silent scripture. It is all these workshops to all these children about all this self-love, even when I tumble out feeling all this helpless. Like the best way to teach a dark child how to love themselves is to be a walking example of a dark woman who loves herself. I am still walking. My feet have not tired today. You see, magic is not a thing, but an entity that has been inscripted in her DNA. DNA. DNA.